Hey everybody and welcome to day six of fasting and prayer. 21 days of fasting and prayer. We are jumping in and pressing into God just to see what he can do, wants to do, will do. And I hope that you've already joined us uh, just to give you a quick overview of what we're doing for 21 days. Started on Monday. That's why today is day six. We're going through January 28th and we are fasting food to seek the Lord. And so that's what a fast is. It is abstaining from food for spiritual purposes. And so I want to encourage you, if you can jump in and fast 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., that'd be a great place to start. If you feel like that's going to kill you, at least do one meal a day and then build up to it. Do two meals a day. Then do a day or so of completely fasting all solid foods and uh, food liquids as well. So drink your water, drink your tea, drink your coffee. If that's what you need to do. Make sure you're drinking uh, water. But nevertheless, we're pressing in to seek Jesus. I want to look at uh, Isaiah chapter 58 with you. Talked a little bit about it yesterday when we talked about an extravagant gift. An extravagant gift. And uh, there's a certain type of fasting that God wants us to give. Maybe that was two days ago. But, uh, you know, after you fast for a few days, some aspects of your memory and brain start working a lot better. Some of it you have to work a little hard on, and that's what I'm doing. Nevertheless, Isaiah 58, God lays out some things about the fasting that the people were doing, and in the way they were doing it, they did it all externally just right, but internally, man, their lives weren't being changed and transformed, and so he rebukes them for that, he corrects them, and then he lays some uh, an explanation out. He says this, he said, is this not the fast that I have chosen, looking at verse 6, to loose the bonds of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, to let the oppressed go free, and that you break every yoke? Is it not to share your bread with the hungry, and that you bring to your house the poor who are outcast? When you see him naked, that you cover him, and do not hide yourself from your own flesh, then your light shall break forth like the morning, your healing shall spring forth speedily, and your righteousness shall go before you. The glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry, and he will say, Here I am. If you take away the yoke from, their, from your midst, the pointing of the finger, the speaking of wickedness, if you extend your soul to the hungry and satisfy the afflicted soul, then your light shall shine in the darkness, and your darkness shall be as Noonday, the Lord will guide you continually and satisfy your soul in drought and strengthen your bones. You shall be like a watered garden and like a spring of water whose waters do not fail. Those from among you shall build the old waste places and you shall raise up the foundations of many generations and you will be called the repairer of the breach, the restorer of streets to dwell in. Wow. So many things that God says right there, but he talks about the blessings, the promises. He talks also about when you're fasting, this is what you're to do. Hey, let's just walk through a couple of these here. Number one thing, he says, the fast that he's chosen is to loose the bonds of wickedness. Now, I think that there are some things that have people bound up. And in our times of fasting, we should expect freedom. We should expect to get free from those things that bind us up. And by the way, if you have brought other people into bondage, this is the time to set them free too. Not only that, but if you haven't brought them into bondage, but you come into contact with somebody who's in bondage, this is the time for you because you've been pressing into the Lord and you have been seeking his face and there's an anointing and a grace on your life that God is saying during these times of fasting and prayer, I am enabling and empowering you to help set people free from their bondage. So that's... Benefit number one, I guess, right there, loosing the bonds of wickedness. Second thing is to undo the heavy burdens. You know, there are burdens that God will lift off of your shoulders when you're fasting. You've been carrying some things, and God's saying, I'm setting you free from that. He's doing it right now for all those people who are fasting. He's setting you free from burdens that you've been carrying. He said, my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. And so for you you're going to have those burdens lifted right off of your shoulders. Not only that, but you're going to also help people get the burdens lifted off of their shoulders. 
And finally, in verse six here, to let the oppressed go free and that you break every yoke. So all those who are oppressed, God says, in times of fasting, they're to go free. Whatever has held you back, has enslaved you, imprisoned you, God is saying he is breaking that yoke during your fast. And not only that, but again, there is a power to minister to people and break the yoke from their back as well. I hope this encourages you. I hope that you press in. I hope that you share this with somebody else. Like it, subscribe, do whatever you can. Let's get the word on the inside of us. Let's get us into the word. Let's see what God will do during these 21 days of fasting and prayer. I'll be back with you tomorrow.